Once I was home, um, I was contacted the day, the next day, um, offered rehabilitation. So um, that was to do with a team of physios, occupational therapists, speech and language, and um, psychiatrists. Over the six-week period, I had um, two physios each week, and each week they gave me a different program and upped my exercises to help me walk again. So at the end of the first week, I could walk uh, gingerly without um, a Zimmer frame, because I had a Zimmer frame for downstairs and upstairs. The occupational therapist came and assessed my home to see if I needed any aids around the home, which in the bathroom I did, in the shower I had a seat because I didn't have the strength to stand up. Speech and therapist came um, because my voice, because I'd lost my voice with the stroke, um, when I did start speaking, I was very low voice, so my, I didn't have any strength to my voice. So I worried that I couldn't be able to speak properly. Um, because also with the stroke, I couldn't remember some words. So I also was worried that how much I could be able to gain confidence to speak conversation because I couldn't remember words. And then uh, psychiatrists. With the stroke, I, was, um, I felt very low mood, quite depressed, because I didn't understand what happened to me. There was no rational reason why it happened to me. You know, I'm not a smoker. Um, I went to the gym regularly, drank in moderation. That was very hard to understand, and also I was very emotional. I'd cry all the time because it was just so distressing because I'd had the stroke and then I had the operation, the two together, it, when I came out of hospital, completely hit me. The support at home was a great benefit, because for me to have to get up in the morning and have to go to a hospital to get any of this help would be impossible. So for them to come to me in the luxury of my own home was really beneficial because they worked around me rather than me working around them. So, and to be able to physically get better at home was with the, with the support of my family, with them, because my family would hear what they were saying in order to help me, so they knew what physical exercises I was doing, so they would support me um, along with the physios. Physically, I've made a full recovery. Um, still have some weakness in my right arm, shoulder, but then I'm working on that. I'm able to go back to the gym um, with exercises, classes recommended by the physio. So I'm doing yoga um, and low impact exercises. The fact that I was contacted the day after was good because you didn't feel then that you were left behind when you come out of hospital. Because when I came out of hospital I felt very insecure. Because whilst I was in hospital, because of what happened to me, I felt secure whilst I was in hospital because I knew there was a medical team around me. But as soon as I left hospital, I felt very insecure coming home. And the first night sleeping, I was petrified. So the fact that the team contacted me the next day meant that I've got that support to carry on because they are medically um, qualified. So whatever I told them, they knew exactly what I was experiencing. So I, that support, having that support at the end of the phone, as well as coming to me physically to see me, is exactly what I needed because that was an extension of from the hospital and I couldn't fault them. Um, that was brilliant. And, getting, and because you work with the same people from the different therapists, you get, they get to know you and you get to know them, so you, you build up a rapport with them so they know your weaknesses and your strengths and they work on that with you. So it's more personal service, which, um, which like in hospitals, you know, again, they know you so well, so they work on your strengths and weaknesses in the hospital. So to get that at home is just a further extension and I couldn't fault it.